Hello, I'm Mike, and today we're talking about creating custom short codes in WordPress. WordPress short codes are a powerful feature to do cool stuff with little effort. Even if you have little to no programming skills, you can add dynamic content effortlessly with their help. In this video, you'll learn how to create custom short codes in WordPress. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. And take note, there's a lot of code snippets in this video, so we've made them available to you in the video description below so you can copy and paste them later. All right, let's get started. It's time to create a custom shortcode. To follow the steps given in this tutorial, you'll need familiarity working with PHP code and editing your WordPress theme files. By the time you're finished with this tutorial, you'll have your first custom WordPress shortcode ready to go. We'll start with the simplest shortcode possible and then move towards more complex ones. Let's create a shortcode called current year that outputs the current year on your website. This shortcode is helpful if you're adding content to your website that needs to be updated every year. For instance, adding a copyright notice to your site's footer. I'll use a bare bones plugin to add my shortcode functions. You can add it to your themes functions.php file and get the same results, but I don't recommend it. It's okay for testing and learning though. Let's get started by creating a plugin. Create a new folder in your plugins directory located in your WP content folder. I'm naming my plugin Sal Codes, but you can name it anything you want. In the Sal Codes plugin directory, create a PHP file with the same name, salcodes.php. Once done, add the following header to your plugins file. This simple plugin header is good enough for our purposes. Save this file and then go to your WordPress dashboard to activate the plugin. Now let's register the shortcode and its handler function. To do that, add the following code to your plugin file. The return tag in the PHP comment defines the type of output returned. It's followed by a short description of the same. Current year is the shortcode tag or name. This defines the self-closing tag you need to add in your content, which in this case would be current year. Sal codes year is the name of the shortcode handler function that'll return the output string. We'll define this callback function in the next lines. Since we're creating a simple self-closing shortcode, you don't have to pass any variable values such as attributes, content, or tag. Sal's codes init is the wrapper function that is hooked to init to make sure that the shortcode is registered and run only after WordPress has finished loading. WordPress's inbuilt add action function makes this possible. GetDate is a PHP function that returns an array of date information of the current timestamp. The year key holds the current year's value as a four digit string. So get date year returns the current year. This output is exactly what we want. Save your plugin file. It's now time to test whether the shortcode works as intended. Add the shortcode anywhere in your site, like a page, a post, or a sidebar widget. I'm adding it to my site sidebar text widget. And as expected, it works perfectly. Congrats on reaching your first milestone. The shortcode you just created doesn't have any attributes or content valuables associated with it. You'll learn how to use them in the following examples. Let's create a customizable CTA button shortcode. This will be self-closing too. I want users to be able to customize the CTA button size and color with the shortcode attributes. Since the final output is a button element, its HTML attributes such as href, ID, class, target, and label can be used to customize it with ease. You can use the ID and class attributes to style the buttons since they're both common CSS selectors. I'm not wrapping my handler function here to keep things simple to explain. Whoa, there's a lot to unpack here. I'll get to explain it line by line so you can understand how it works. We've covered the add shortcode function and how it works in the previous section. Shortcode ATTS is a WordPress function that combines user shortcode attributes with known attributes. It fills in default values when needed, which you can set yourself to. The result will be an array containing every key from the known attributes merged with values from user-defined shortcode attributes. Inside the shortcode handler function, we define a variable and assign it to the array returned by shortcode ATTS. 
we assign the attributes their default values with the syntax attribute and then default value. For example, in this code, we're setting the default value of attribute label to button with the syntax label button. We can extract the values for each attribute key with the PHP syntax for arrays. The output variable stores the HTML code of the button element, the A tag with the button class. It's the string that's finally returned by the function. If you want to set the default link to be the site's homepage URL, you can make use of the home URL WordPress function. Let's try using the shortcode as is with no attributes defined and see what's outputted. If you're wondering what the double square brackets are for, they're called an escaping shortcode. They help you output any registered shortcode in your site as regular text, like in this picture. Users can customize the size and color of the button with the shortcode. We already set their default values in the handler function, but we need to register and enqueue the style sheet to the list of available resources. The style sheet should have all the classes defined in the shortcode. You can set these classes in your theme's global style sheet too, but it's recommended to load them separately. This ensures that even if you change or update your WordPress theme, these classes will still load along with the shortcode. The salcodes NQ scripts function defines the post global variable and then confirms two conditions via is a this checks whether post is an instance of the WP post object. It's referring to all the post types in WordPress and then has shortcode. This checks whether the post content contains the CTA button shortcode. If both conditions are true, the function registers and enqueues the style.css style sheet included in the CSS folder. The plugin directory URL function makes it easy to get the URL of the plugin's directory. I won't show you the CSS code here, but you can find it in the source code linked in the video description below. Finally, let's test the CTA button shortcode by adding it to the post content. This shows us how the CTA button looks on the front end. Now that you've learned how to define custom attributes and include styles, you can add various other functionality to your CTA button shortcode. For instance, you can give your users the option to add animations, hover effects, and various other button styles. For our final example, let's build an enclosing shortcode called boxed that outputs any content between its tags in a box with colorful titles. Let's get started by registering the shortcode and defining its handler function. Content equals null. This registers the shortcode as an enclosing type. You can use the content variable inside your handler function to change your output as you wish. Tag equals. This defines a shortcode's tag variable. It's not necessary in this example, but it's good practice to include it. In this example, we modify the content using inline CSS styles. Styles for any class used inside the shortcode are registered and enqueued as we did in the previous shortcode example. But having two shortcodes use the same style sheet means that you have to load it if either of them is used. So let's update the styles code in Q scripts function. Has shortcode is a user defined variable that checks whether either of the shortcodes exist on the page or post. The logical or operator makes that possible. Now let's take our box shortcode for a spin. The screenshot shows the output we get. Now that you've learned how to make your own shortcodes, you can think out of the box and give them your own spin. Don't forget to share your creations with us. If you want, you can download the shortcode plugin source code in the video description below. Now let's go over some pros and cons for WordPress shortcodes. Here are some pros. Shortcodes simplify the addition of complex features in WordPress sites. You can add almost anything by typing a single line of code. Shortcodes automate the development workflow. They eliminate the need to write complex scripts every time you want to insert a certain feature. Shortcodes are more user-friendly than adding HTML code or PHP scripts. Shortcodes can be bundled inside plugins. Even if you update WordPress or change or update your theme, the shortcodes will stay valid and continue to work as they did before. Bundling shortcodes inside plugins makes them easy to use across multiple WordPress websites. If you're a developer handling many sites, having all your custom shortcodes ready to go is a lifesaver. Since shortcodes also accept attributes, users can modify how the same shortcode behaves by just altering its attribute options.
Short codes aren't intuitive to use for the end user, especially if a lot of them are used on a page. In such cases, they're more suited for developers. It's hard to tell what a short code does just by looking at it. The WordPress core team has aptly named them Mystery Meat Embedded Codes for this exact reason. Short codes that come bundled with themes will stop working if you change your theme. Short codes are ambiguous regarding their syntax. For example, some of them support optional closing, so you can use them as either self-closing or enclosing, or even both if they're nested. You can guess how it can get super confusing super fast. Short codes can break HTML due to conflicting tags or interoperability issues. It's never a good sight to see them on any site's front end. Short codes add an extra load on your server. As the number of short codes on your page or post increases, so does this load. Too many short codes can bring your website to a crawl. For example, the output by most page builders. Introducing Gutenberg reduced the desirability of short codes. Users can now add blocks directly from the editor interface rather than deal with short code markups, no matter how simple it is. And if you want to add short codes, Gutenberg even comes with a dedicated block to add short codes. Blocks are the new short codes. That explains why all the popular short codes are being converted to blocks. Many WordPress developers have shifted towards making their products and services work exclusively with the block editor. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the world for short codes. The WordPress core team has promised many improvements to the block editor, some of which you can see in the 2021 WordPress theme. But until then, short codes are here to stay. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24 seven support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.